Can you, as a normal participant in a YAL workflow case, manually pick the person who will execute the next work item? The answer is yes, if you are the boss. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I do videos on business process automation. This video is part of a series of videos on the business process management system YAL. Today, I'll show you how to create a team in YAL. The next tutorial will be about delegating work items to members of a team. In this video, I'll do two things. First, I'll show you the structure of the team and then I'll show you how to create it in the control center. So let's first look at the structure of the team. The team is the approving team. And there are three participants in the team. first one is Ron, second one is Rosa, and the third one is Ray. All of them also have the role approver. And then Ron is the boss, so Rosa reports to and Ray reports to. That's the structure. So let's see how this looks in the YAL control center. On the right hand side we are logged in as the administrator and we have already uploaded the YBKP file from the supplementary material and um, we go to org data and inside org data um, we first look at the org groups and here in the org groups you can see the approving team this is the one we have here on the left hand side so this team consisting of three participants and if we look at the team it just says that it is an org group of type team so in order to see who is member of the team um, we have to go to the positions and um, we have three positions, the approver boss, which is here on top, approver one and approver two. So you can see we have the members here for these positions um, as we have this here um, in the drawing. And they are all members of the approving team. So you can see that here, approver one, for example, belongs to the approving team. That's that. And the last thing is that we have to specify that um, these two team members report to the boss here. So uh, if we go to uh, Approver 1, um, we can see that Approver 1, this position, reports to Approver Boss. And also Approver 2 reports to Approver Boss. So that is the structure. And in the next video, I'll show you how we will actually delegate work items using this team structure. 